Hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'm sitting here in front of the egg incubator and we are going to candle a few eggs. Uh, we're on day five today, which is usually about the first day that you really want to see if how, how they're going really. Um, you can do it after five days or even before, but before five days you're not going to see a whole lot. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop the top off of this thing. You're likely to hear the alarm go off when the humidity and the temperature drops. But other than that, we're going to take this handy little uh, magic fly egg candler that uh, did a review on or an unboxing on the other day. And we're going to see how it works. I'm going to bring it up close to you turn off the lights and uh, see whether we can see any growth in these uh, baby chicks or not. Hopefully we see lots of it. So let's get busy and see what we can do here. I'll uh, go ahead and take the top off first. Turn the light off and we'll take the first egg. Bring it over here. Pointy end down, and this is what we see this far. There's the uh, alarm that you hear going off. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of anything in this one this far. These are darker eggs, but I do see something. There's a little... Uh, spot in there moving around and it's not the egg it's like right there and that's probably about all that we're going to see in most of these let's go to the next one i'll silence this thing on day five in a lot of ways what you're doing on day five is just ooh. now on this one i can see a different thing from the top here up here, I see veining already. We'll turn it and see if you can see it yourself. Oh, get it in focus again. See that area right there? It's right in there. Starting to see veining. Go to the next one here, see what we see. Oh, from the top side, I can see plenty actually. We'll turn it that way. I see that dark pip, or that dark spot right here? That's formation. That's not the egg itself. And I see veining starting to happen in that area as well. Now that's beautiful. Let's see. Get it up here. Right there. That area. That moves. And I see veining in it looking good uh, the lighter the color of the egg shell the simpler it is to see through a few days we'll be doing a candling again at about day 10 about day 10 i think i'll probably do a candling again just to see how things are going with them now this one, this one is something that's uh, sort of an enigma, so to speak. This egg is probably what you wouldn't want to see. Notice that there is no dark spot, okay? The, you don't even see the yolk as you do in the others. This egg probably, if I had to guess, hasn't been fertilized properly. Another way to put it, glowing like a, um, uh, a heat lamp or <laughs> something, basically a lava lamp. Now this egg, in contrast, notice bottom side, this top bottom side, bright, top side dark but look right here there's a spot right there 
little dark spot. We're going to turn it. There's the air sac. There was no air sac in the other one. Notice that little dark spot right there beside my finger. Okay. It's moving. All right. I know it's moving. I can see it moving. So that egg, on the other hand, is a perfectly fine uh, specimen of what we're trying to get done here. It uh, looks great. Now this one, again, looks like a lava lamp. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go through these real quick figure out which ones look like lava lamps and move them around to one side so that I know exactly which ones I want to candle again first on day 10. Uh, maybe day 7 depending, but uh, I'll do another candling at least on day 10 before the lockdown period happens at uh, day 18. I brought this one over here to show you some of what you can see at day five. Now if this were a real lighter colored egg, you'd see this in real good detail. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. Right in here we have veining. That's actually really good veining for it to be on day five. And there's some here. I see, and there. Hey, hi. Yeah. Come here. I'm gonna show you this. Can you see it? The veining. Yeah. Hang on. I'll show you another one. This one, I think it was, that was really nice. You can see it real clear. Oh, yeah. yeah. I see him. Yeah. This one back here, I think it was. Yeah, that's almost pure lava lamp. That's, yeah, no I don't, at all in I see the yolk, but you can't see any kind of, uh, blue veins or, you veins can't or see anything like except, it does have the air pocket, but, on the rest of them, the yolk has fallen some. And those right here, another one, say, mm -hmm. it's pretty much lava lamp. I don't think they're fertilized. Uh, that and that one, that one, and I think it's that one. The rest of these, we've got about four that looks like they have not been fertilized, but the rest of these all look solid. Okay, so what uh, we found out here was that it looks like I've got probably four, possibly five, that are uh, looking like they were infertile, um, which that happens from time to time, depending on your stock and whether you're lucky enough to, to get a rooster to do his job. <laughs> so... Uh, there's uh, 42 eggs in here, and out of the 42, I've got four that says I uh, think we're infertile. The rest of them are in uh, multiple stages of development, but they're all looking pretty much like the five-day mark should. They've got air pockets. They uh, have uh, blood veins just starting at the very edges and they're real light and faint as you'll see or have seen in the in the rest of the video so on day seven i plan to do this again uh specifically for at least those four that uh need some clarity to make sure that they're not uh, uh they are or aren't in uh uh, infertile. So if you like this video, there should be a link to another uh, one of the videos I think you'll like over on the right hand side over here somewhere um, as well. Hit that subscribe button and uh, become a 
a channel subscriber for more great videos like this in the future. Talk to you later.